hi guys welcome to this tutorial good to have you watch this tutorial if you've not watched our previous video watch our previous tutorials to know how we come about the spins the spaniels and all these grid lines that we have so to subscribe to our channel to regularly get videos on orion series to make structural design so in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to add strips on your structure for structural designs so this is the icon for strips so if i click on it, it comes up so this is slab properties so we have the x direction and we have the y direction also i'm going to analytical strip but before this i'm going to set my rebar properties so i'm going to go to analysis now I'm going to go to material. This is my material dialog box. So this is my color concrete grades. So the grade of the concrete you can set. You can use 30, but I'm using 25. So then when you're done, you can just say apply to add to all orders. Like all of this now becomes 25. Well, that of beam, slab, and foundation, everything to be grade. 25 concrete so what about the steel grid so i'm going to select the grid also for the steel i'm using 460 because it's a design i've done before so this is the type of steel i'm using so grid 460 steel so i'm using for all also you can also choose the particular grid you want so if i'm using 410 500 681 fabrics or whatever can then click apply close so that I can apply also for all all the orders then I'm going to go to the bar size so this is my bar diameter for my column what diameter are you using I'm using 16 so I haven't checked every order bar size in it to leave only that 16 checked I'm using 16 so if you're using whatsoever number you just check on it you click OK so you can also do the same for this what you've done here you can also do the same so for my link bar I'm using 10 so I've checked every other so you can do the same for orders so I'm clicking OK then I'll say OK then to close this building analysis the pre-analysis so I'm going to say OK now you can see it has taking your settings for this so we have the column you have 20 grade 20 concrete the steel is is 460 the walls everything the beams also and the bar sizes are also there so i'm going to click on close then this is my structure so we're going to be adding our strips now so i'm going to go to strip these are strap properties so we have general and we have the finite element so we have the x and the y direction this is my x this is my y direction so we have analytical strips so i'm going to say the type of strip i want to put is analytical strips or finite elements or manual so if i choose manual is going to be very tedious so i'm going to my next videos i'm going to make all of this also but now i'm going to make analytical strips for you just to see is my by number so it's my by type then so i'm going to insert my strips so this is my reba configuration so this is my reba configuration so where is my rebar starting from starting from a beam and it's ending on a slab that is what this thing means so it's starting from this is slab and this is slab this is beam and this is beam this is cantilever and this is cantilever so it might be starting from a cantilever to end on the cantilever or in the year of this combination so you have to be very sure how the rebar is being positioned because the analysis is going to take that form so this is starting from a beam and it's ending on the slab so 
going to right left click sorry left click when I left click there is an elastic line that's following me so you can see now to make this line to become straight I'm going to hold the control key on my Windows keyboard become straight and I'm going to release now these are my rebars we have 19 of them T12 at 250 bottom so this is the length of the bar so I'm going to make like this for all of the spaniels so I'm going to be very careful just very careful this is starting from a slab and it's ending on a slab so slab to slab so I'm going to make it pull hold my control key down I'm going to release this is also from a slab to slab and then the whole control key down release this is from a beam from a slab to a beam sorry from this slab to a beam hold my control key down and release now we are adding for the x direction that's why i'm pulling this my rebar the strip line which is this line from left to right so i'm going to add for this this is going to be beam to slab beam to slab is going to be slab to slab slab to slab it's going to be the same slab to slab it's going to be the same slab to slab it's going to be beam slab to beam slab to beam this is going to be beam to slab beam to slab it's going to be slab to beam slab to beam Ensure that the configuration here is correct. So this is going to be from beam to slab, beam to slab. This is going to be slab to beam, slab to beam. It's going to be beam to beam, beam to beam. Then the X strips is done so i'm going to change this direction to y so i'm going to come from the top to the bottom so i like going from my left to right you can choose any way you want it's not um against the rules so i'm going to do for this beam to beam hold my control key down that is done this is going to be beam to slab beam to slab this simply means where is it starting from and where is it ending so this i'm going to choose is starting from a slab and it's ending on a beam that's what it means so it's starting from a slab and it's ending on a beam so i'm going to pull this also is starting from a beam ending on a slab beam to slab this is slab to beam slab to beam this the same beam to slab and slab this has changed now slab to slab just slab to slab this is now beam to slab this is slab to slab This is slab to slab. This is also slab to slab. Zoom out a little bit. Zoom in. It's slab to slab. And this is slab to beam. Slab to beam. And this is slab to beam also. So all rebars have been added. Let's zoom in to see. So we have every rebar is added both in y direction and in x direction. So this one is 11 from this direction to this place. In this space here, we have 11 bars in the y direction, 12, which is diameter 12 millimeters bar is placed as 250 millimeters bottom. So this is what this writing here implies. So that is the bar 
naming so this is it guys for adding strip to your structures for analysis purpose so you subscribe to our channel and also drop on the comment box your difficulties and the videos you expect us to produce for you see you in our next tutorial video